You are watching a free lesson from UI design in Photoshop course. See the description below to know more about this course or watch till the end of this video. In this lesson, we are going to create this awesome looking modern header, another one, but this is going to be uh, with another technique, which is basically color overlay. So we are going to use color overlay uh, adjustment layer to create this awesome effect. Let's start creating this header. Okay, open a new file. I'm going to use this artboard web, web most common used. I'm going to use a uh, size of 700 for it. Press OK. Now we have the artboard. Now we are going to create another layer, the size of artboard for our container for the image and the header background. We created this one. Okay, let's make it the size of our canvas like that. Okay, now I have used uh, this website called pickjumbo.com for the free images. Uh, you can use it and uh, download any free image from here to use in this exercise. I have already downloaded one of them, which is this one. So I'm going to drag it over here in my Photoshop like that. And I'm going to expand it a bit to, okay, like that. Now I'm going to drag it down and we are going to clip it inside our container. Let's rename it container and make its color to white. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to overlay another color on this background to create this, this effect. So we are going to use uh, color overlay on this container. You can use it from here. Go to this adjustment layers and select solid color. Press OK. Now we are going to use uh, some effect like maybe multiply normal and change the opacity to like 90%. Uh, it's your own choice. You can use anyone, any uh, opacity, opacity over here. Click on any dark color like that. And this is how we create this effect. So if you can, we can lower more. Okay, 80% is good enough. Uh, we can also change the color from here to a bit darker blue shade. Okay, now our background is done. We can uh, now go on and uh, get a logo file over here and few other things. Okay, now I have used two for, uh, fonts typography. One is Work Sans regular. It is also Google font. Another is Monster Art Bold. We are going to write our title over here. Uh, let's write the title over here. Okay, let me see what I wrote on the original design. Learn to create pro paper prototypes. Okay, let me rephrase it. Learn to create. And then in the next, I am going to duplicate it. Paper prototypes. Okay, now on the paper prototypes, I use monster art mold. Let's make a size to 64, or maybe 48. 48 is good enough. And uh, let's just let's just upgrade this size its size to 32 and 48. Okay, now I'm going to align them with each other, going to select both of them, moving them around. Okay, now one more thing, I need to get some margins on the left and right side. So I'm going to use Gridify uh, 120, 130 pixels on the both sides like that. Okay, now Control D to deselect and I'm going to align these with this line. I'm going to copy the same text over here, which I used in the original image. 
now i'm going to again select text and i am going to drag it like this and paste it over here so this is monster art regular 16 pixel font just to keep in mind and this is 32 or you can increase it to 36 too like that and it was not regular but light font okay now we have created our text let's create our call to action button over here so we are going to use a ghost button or just a white button over here so just to have good focus on this area so let's uh, use our again work sense regular 20 pixel and we are going to start learning just change its color to some sharp color like this orange I'm going to use it align it select the both layers align it with alt control H and alt control V just move it a bit down one step down select both layers and align it with this left margin line also it looks a bit less spacier so okay oh, sorry just select the background and expand this but like that okay now our button is ready let's drag some font uh, sorry logo over here I'm going to use my alt control F10 so now I am using all the three screens let's just close it okay I'm going to drag my logo from this file over here okay, well, logo is over here let's make it a bit shorter um, okay this is good enough let's move it over here and I'm going to use color overlay effect over here you can go to effects and color overlay and you can use some uh, grayish color over here because we don't want more uh, make it prominent so use gray color over here okay our logo is done we need one login button at the right side so just use a text login Or we can use this these two layers we can group them into BTN and then control J copy it and then move it around over here like that but we are going to change the style this is going to be white and the background is going to have uh, a stroke of white one pixel and we're going to reduce the fill to zero now we have made our login button but we need to make it short rename it to login 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 okay now there is a bit of problem our login button is uh, has also almost the same height and width so we are going to reduce it because we don't want much attention over here like that and also if we can reduce the font size to 18 pixel that is good enough okay now let's rename it to login btn for login button move it with this line our margin line okay we are going to align this login button with this logo select both of them and center line like that i guess they are already center line okay now we have almost created uh, all of our uh, header uh, there is one more thing you can add over here you can draw another rectangle like that over here you might have seen this in a lot of websites uh, change its color to nearly 
black and change its opacity to 70% or whatever you like like 50% for me it's 50% so you can see this is uh, used this technique is used a lot of time in a lot of on a lot of websites so we can also reduce its size and move the login button and our logo a bit up like that now it is uh, looking more balanced now this is the way we create color overlaid uh, header effects so if we try to hide it we can use any color fill over here like i am going to use this orange or uh, this uh, color or this one or maybe this one or we can use a darker color like that darker grayish color you might have seen such effect on a lot of websites a very dull grayish color overlay so these this is very popular technique you can use it with any color you can uh, select any color from here and uh, uh, it will look really nice so that's it about using color overlays and color overlay fill to create awesome looking header designs if you have any questions or any other requests just start a discussion i think i am creating a lot of uh, lectures these days so stay tuned and keep me updated you have just watched one lesson from my udemy course and uh, let me show you what i am going to teach you in that course it has more than 100 lectures and 9 hours of video on ui design if you really want to be a ui designer you should be considering to take this course here are a few examples we are going to cover photoshop settings and preferences for ui design then we are going to cover all the basics like shadowing uh, light and uh, how to design different uh, uh, drop shadows like soft shadows inner shadows and layer effects then we are going to create a lot of awesome exercises you are going to see right now header designs mobile apps dashboard design so all these exercises we are going to cover in this course so don't waste time grab this course you are not going to find tutorials on each topic i have covered in this course for all my youtube viewers it is just dollar 10 so grab it while it is only just dollar 10 so let's see you in that course